children and help make them what they become. As Albert Einstein rightly said, if you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. So here we welcome our senior KG children of a Bhumi Park branch performing a skit based on the wonderful story of Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red cloth with a big red hood. So everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood went through the forest with the basket. Along the way, she noticed some lovely flowers in the woods. She forgot her promise to her mother. She started to sing, dance and to pluck some flowers for her grandmother. Suddenly, a wolf <coughs> appeared beside her. Little Red Riding Hood kept looking for flowers, disobeying her mother who told her not to stop in the forest and to go soon to her grandmother's house. Meanwhile, the wolf reached the grandmother's house and knocked at the door. The wolf pushed the door and came inside. Grandma got scared and she started running away. Help! Help! But the wolf caught her and locked her up in the cupboard. Then he puts on grandma's cap and gets into the bed and rolled himself well up in the blanket and waited for the little girl. A few minutes later, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's house. Little Red Riding Hood entered the house. She went straight to her grandmother who was in the bed. Then the wolf said, Come in, my cousin, sit here. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood sat in a chair and looked at her grandmother and said, <laughs> Grandma, Grandma, what do you
across the room shouting help, help. A woodsman was chopping blocks nearby, heard her crying and ran towards the cottage as fast as he could. He faced the wicked wolf and the wolf ran away into the forest never to be seen again nearby. Learned her lesson and never spoke to strangers again. <laughs> <laughs> 